Yeah, yeah. So one of the, one of these other projects is actually on the uh, design and development of high-speed um, uh, uh, atomic force uh, microscope for imaging, right? So, uh, so in this case, you know, the conventional uh, uh, scanners, you know, do maybe one or few lines uh, per second, and this is the same like you have a uh, that you're capturing an, uh, an image. So an image has lines. Uh, right, and then every line has pixels or uh, you know data points uh, in it, and so like a camera, uh, whether it's still or video, your TV, all of them work in the same uh, principle. So that defines you know the uh, you know the uh, uh, you know what well, the, the frame you know of the uh, of these images are, uh, and of course an image that has very high resolution. So you would have many many lines, and then for every line you have many more pixels, so that you can have uh, uh, you know the high resolution um, uh, high resolution uh, images. So in this case, what we're targeting is uh, not only the large range. Uh, so uh, our current uh, uh, scan can do like up to maybe 120 uh, uh, microns by 120 microns. This seems to be small because the, the thickness or the <laughs> diameter of, of a person's hair is about 80 to 100 uh, microns. So here at the nanoscale, 120 microns, right, is actually huge because you're looking at precision down to the uh, sub-nanometer scale. Like uh, in our case, down to the angstrom level, which is about a tenth of a, a tenth of a nanometer. So when you look at a tenth of a nanometer, you know, in comparison, you know, to uh, like 100 microns or 120 microns, so that is like very, very small in comparison. So, so anyway, so here the objective is to design these instruments that can do the scanning very, very fast. So not only that you can take the images very fast, but you can take videos with it, right? So, uh, and this is what the, uh, you know, the, the, the award by National Instruments was um, uh, about this instrument that uh, we've been developing that can do the large range and then the high resolution uh, and also the high speed. So we can do uh, now maybe close to 4,000 uh, lines per second uh, in comparison maybe to the conventional ones that do maybe one to a few lines uh, uh, per second. Yeah, yeah, so this one, uh, uh, you know, one of the sponsors <coughs> in the recent past was Samsung uh, company. And uh, Samsung, as you know, they do uh, a lot of electronics. Um, and uh, uh, as uh, any uh, 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 company in the semiconductor area, they deal with uh, wafers, so wafers that are large. <coughs> Some of them can be uh, 300 millimeter uh, size. Uh, and then you would want to have maybe technology that can look at those wafers and uh, maybe in uh, either designated areas on these wafers or uh, uh, taking sites at, at random and then using an instrument like this one that can uh, does the, uh, uh, take images you know, very, very quickly because if they are in a production line, you, know, you don't want them to, uh, to be slow. Uh, so they can take, you know, from those sites uh, images that are very, very uh, precise and also very, uh, very fast. So, so this is, uh, these are some of the, uh, these projects. And then uh, uh, National Instruments, I mean, uh, it's, I think it's uh, great that they have initiated this kind of, uh, of award. Um, they were, we were told about 120 uh, entries, uh, uh, proposals that were submitted from, uh, you know, uh, research centers and companies uh, from around, uh, uh, from about 29 countries. Uh, and then so uh, ours, uh, you know, uh, was selected in, uh, in this one, not only for the, the design and the fabrication and the control of these um, uh, specialized uh, instruments, but also using tools uh, in fact, that uh, National Instrument um, uh, develops uh, tools. These are graphical tools that help you um, uh, design and um, uh, uh, and implement, you know, control systems, you know, with uh, uh, with their with with their uh, technology. So that one, uh, so those tools that we used, and also. Uh, some of the uh, hardware from National Instruments that uh, helped us do all of this, um, you know, the interfacing at high speed that was uh, that was necessary.